off the final liftoff of Atlantis on the shoulders of the space. July the 11th, America 2011, the, the last space shuttle launch, and the beginning of what many commentators call America's decade long space program slump. The Kennedy Space Center laid off more than 7,000 workers and space enthusiasts who filled restaurants and hotels and lined the shore to watch launches disappeared. But NASA's reinvigorated space program and a boost from private companies like SpaceX and Blue Horizon means Florida's so-called Space Coast is alive again. I'm just happy it's booming the way it is. I'm happy they got the program going back up now. I'm happy people can come out and enjoy it with us. So I think it's cool. Several rocket launches are carried out each month, including SpaceX carrying Starlink internet satellites. More than 12,000 civil servants, private contractors and others now work at the Kennedy Space Center, almost as many as those employed during the heyday of the shuttle program. On a mission to prepare for the next era of world cooperation in space. Hotels and restaurants are filling up once more. It excites me that the people are still excited enough in, in, in this country to flow here to see it. They still look at it as historic, and I hope we never lose that. Um, you know, it's obviously good for the space program, it's good for the country, and it's certainly good for the city of Titusville and Brevard County. You know, we're back. You know, and the, the kind of the saying goes now, we're going to the moon. NASA says it's set to launch the Artemis moon mission on Saturday after problems with an engine cooling system delayed liftoff last week. Space Coast spectators will be again packed along these Florida shores. Charles Stratford, Al Jazeera.